Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Patrick Itell, real estate professional with Keller Williams and owner of the Itell Group. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Specifically, we're going to talk about the Austin real estate market, residential. Uh, nationwide, sales are up 11%, but despite that, the news is still kind of painting a grim picture. How is Austin weathering the storm, and what is maybe the biggest misconception uh, that Austin residents have on their own local market? Well, first off, uh, Austin real estate is doing really well. Um, don't don't listen to the news. The news is kind of giving you a blanket approach of the kind of the whole nation. It's not really drilling down to our market. Um, okay. Austin is a great place to live. I mean, the quality of life here is pretty phenomenal, and it definitely um, we have the economic factors that support the quality of life. Okay. Uh, we have the largest university in Texas, the University of Texas. You have Dell, you have Applied Materials, you have AMD. So there's a lot of big businesses here. Uh, so there's a lot of jobs, and that keeps the uh, the housing market pretty steady. So the job market supports the residential market and it's just kind of keeping us buffered for the storm, basically? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, uh, because we have a strong economy in mm -hmm. Austin and it's because it's such a desirable place to live, it's, uh, it's kind of like the perfect storm. It's the best of both worlds. What's going on is, I mean, don't believe all the hype. I mean, there's not all cowboys here and there's not all big 10-gallon uh, hats and right. the cowboy boots. It's actually, it's a beautiful place. Lance Armstrong's from here and it's a desirable place. I mean. You travel all over the world, people say, uh, you say Texas, like, oh, you know, Cowboys. Right, you say right. Austin, like, oh, Austin. I mean, MTV right. actually uh, filmed Real World here. So it's, it's, it's a great place to live. So um, Austin, obviously, Austin residents wouldn't argue with that. But to people who don't live in Austin, what, um, what brings them to Austin looking at, if people were, for example, to relocate, say, from California or Florida, if they're able to get out of that market, what would make them move to Austin for this residential market, besides the lifestyle? I mean, well, the climate. I mean, the climate definitely helps out. We do have a, a, um, a similar climate to California, mm -hmm. and it's a lot more affordable. Okay. Uh, it's just the affordability is kind of skewed in, in other areas. Where, where here we've had a realistic steady appreciation, and uh, which, which is compensated with the, uh, the salaries. Where other markets, they had to kind of get creative and, and figure out how somebody could buy, afford the house right. when uh, we're awesome. We just haven't had to do that. So lack of kind of a hyperinflated market and the investors and speculation and things yeah. like that kind of protected us from the recession. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, a lot of, a lot of real estate markets were inflated because right. of investors. Uh, what was coming on is people started look, buying real estate um, as a short-term gain instead of a long-term place to live, and that artificially inflated the uh, market. What okay. was going on in, I mean, in California and, and Florida and kind of other markets, as no, people were buying these houses, but nobody was living in it, so it was uh, increasing the price point, even though it probably wasn't realistic what it should be selling at. Okay. Um, if you wanted to look at reasons maybe Austin demand might be growing or at least staying constant, um, we have the $8,000 federal tax, tax credit, excuse me, for first time home buyers coming up. I think it expires December 1st, is that? Correct, yeah. Have, what has the effect been of that federal tax credit here in Austin that you've seen? It's actually, I've, I've worked with a lot of buyers who, who, are, who are buying a house who probably wouldn't have been uh, just because of the $8,000 mm -hmm. tax credit. It's really putting a lot of money in the economy. And the best thing about it is the government is trying to bail out uh, the country nationwide. Right. Where other places have been affected, where, where home sales aren't happening, and, and there's, it's, it's just not a steady market. The good news is interest rates are uh, all-time low right now. Mm -hmm. um, you have $8,000 tax credit for first-time home buyers. So it's really, it's kind of a perfect time to get off the fence and, and, uh, and live in a great place. So Austin's kind of reaping the benefits of a nationwide bailout, basically. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's other places that are stagnant that needed an $8,000 tax credit. Mm -hmm. We really didn't need it, but it's a really a great, uh, I mean, it's free money, so you might right. as well take it. Right. Well, for those people who are wanting to take advantage of that tax credit, um, who would be first-time home buyers and kind of novices looking at that real estate market, what are a couple of tips, I mean, if you know, they don't have a house to sell because they are those first-time buyers. What would you say to somebody who's looking at it and doesn't really know how to get in that door? Well, first off, um, this is the most expensive purchase most people are ever right, going to buy. Right. So uh, make sure you have uh, a qualified real estate professional working for you who has a, the track record to, that, you, that you know uh, can, can help exactly meet your needs and do exactly what you're looking for. Um, because it is such an important purchase, you want to make sure you have someone who has been, I would say, at least selling real estate for the last two years and um, has sold a number of homes. Okay, no, kind of knows the market locally. You, you emphasize that a lot, staying local, making sure that um, you and your, your, your realtor have an idea of the track record of the market. 
Exactly, because it, it really bo doesn't boil down what's going on in a different state. It boils down into your neighbors and what's your neighbor's okay. house and the, the neighborhood you want to live in. So you want to know someone who specializes in that neighborhood okay. um, and actually knows the area and knows the houses. Um, a lot of times, if, if you can work with a realtor who, who's, who's with a reputable company, he'll know about properties that are, um, aren't even on the market yet just because other agents in your office might be listing, and that's you can kind of get a, a sneak peek of good houses. Okay, and then lastly, if someone were to kind of weave through all of the analysis and all of the reports about how the market's doing, again, staying locally, at least in your own city. Is there a specific season um, where business is booming or, or a quarter to, one quarter to quarter yearly where a novice could look at those two quarters, compare them and see whether or not the market is um, growing or busting or... Yeah, I mean, no one's got, no one has a crystal ball, so you can't say. I mean, you never know what's going to happen long term. The best, really, the best time to buy a house is probably in the summer. You see a lot of most activity because a lot of people don't want to take their kids out of school districts, um, and they don't want to to move during the winter. So there's a lot more houses that are coming on mm -hmm. the market, uh, and so it's great for your buyer. And then there's a lot more buyers looking. Uh, during that time if you're a seller. So really the summer is probably the highest time of the mm -hmm. year. Um, and then during the winter, th you might be able to get a better deal because there's less inventory and more people looking. So it's just kind of, what are you looking to do? Personal, marginal mm -hmm. yeah. analysis. Okay, well thank you so much for your advice. Again, that was Patrick Itell with the Itell Group and Keller Williams. Thank you. Oh, thanks for having me. Great questions. Thanks.